Hey guys, we're back. Four here. Kyle. Sorry, I don't. Versus uh, Michael Muffet. Um, so Kyle's on drinks and multi artifact. Dirtily. Bluish deck. Don't really know how it's going to handle. Cards like Rexian scriptures. Takes. Right. I guess. Uh, I guess it's. Got those, I'm sure. Has answer. Braska's good. So like, what's the, the green in the, the deck? Uh, he's playing. Um, I think he's playing Braska. Okay. Turn one, Terramander. Uh, Terramander is a very good card. Uh, Terramander is a very good card, sorry. That is seeing a lot more play given... Oh, what? That's just turn two triple Terramander. That's yeah. cool. Um, it, that we're seeing a lot of play because it's essentially a two and a five. five. With how many instances playing in the deck. Comes down and able to just put a bunch of stuff in the yard and make it up. Although, uh, there isn't, like, a downside of adding this to the deck, as you've seen his hand right now. Mm -hmm. Very creature. I think I saw another Crackling Drake in his hand. But actually, so this ending my Drake is 0 4. Right. Uh, but these Terramanders are still. Yeah. I mean, Michael just gets to slam scriptures on over here. Yep. And these are all going to die next turn. Yeah. And with such a super heavy draw, he's going to lose a lot of tempo. Might not matter, though. If Everything's There's and a Tezzeret. Uh, Tezzeret's Mr. Artifice, I believe. It's my Adopter. Crackling Drake here. Still a zero four. Yeah. This is, um, bigger. He got it. He has a green source here. Or if he's played one already. If he has a land here, play this. He Arisca. has a green source. Yeah. Oh, Turp one. I, I feel like the likely over if he plays Braska here and Don ticks on the break. Right. Like two active planeswalkers completely. Probably not beatable. I don't okay. quite like. I don't know if I like that play because I've down. Yeah, he was um, definitely there. I also don't like it because what are you doing with the extra two? You should always, in my opinion, play. Just spend all six mana. Or it especially against a deck that's playing spells. I assume. I don't know. Is. Um, I'm not. Like Kyle, just. Yeah. Don't blame him. Oh, sorry. He Dude. wasn't technically dead. Uh, it would have taken several turns. Actually, been. I'd say more than several. But he, effectively, was. Right. My glasses. Under Rumblet. There are a lot of weird Eva cards sanity. on the sideboard. <laughs> and then four. What? else is there? Black card next to... Right there. That one. Okay. So much standard. 
Ritual of Soot's a card that uh, last standard was very bad against Drakes because they have Terra Magic. Got all in on crap. It's still boarding in. That seems like a card that goes. How is uh, it ever getting? Not sure. Not. Or is if you evolve a first fire exchange on it, turn it into a. It sure. stays, and then everything else dies. Oh, it does get a plus. It is a plus mm -hmm. one plus. So I guess like there's that. What's Wait, that green card. Uh, Rampage of the Clans. Oh, we're on. Okay. That's, I knew it. I like I saw fun. that. Um, someone else. Uh, so Nick Foscaris was also on Rampage of the Clans on Friday. Uh, he was on, like, an all-in, like, aggro deck with it, though, uh, okay. playing, like, Smothering Tithe. And yeah. everyone's like, why is he playing Smothering Tithe? And he's like, Rampage of the Clans. Instant speed think, get ya. I think if I was playing, I, I've seen a couple of lists of Rampage of the Clans. Uh, some of them were playing the in a enchantment that cycles. But it doesn't cycle, but uh, it was, like, enchant land uh, to be draw a card. Enchanted land caps for all colors. Um, I was playing. Yeah. I saw a list. I was playing four of those, uh, four treasure maps. Um, had smothering tithe in it. Uh, had, found, the rich had found a renewal. Just, you just sat there. Made a bunch of treasures. Played your like cheap enchantments. Cast rampage of the clan clans and tried to just cut them. An instance, you just go in there and step. Right. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if I was doing that at also. Can't think of the card. Make every make all your lands two two. Uh, Sylvan Awakening. Yeah. I'm just going all in on like the super jank, right? That's what I always do. I'm playing jank. I'm going like and, super. And step jank. rampage of the clan. What am I main is cast silver yeah. awakening. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, he gets to blow up his own res conta. That's got that card with his deck. Res conta. That oh. becomes a three three. Yeah. Probably flipped over, but. Trying to cast ramp, whatever. Probably, unless you played it the turn before. Or I mean, you don't have to flip. You just like not flip it. Like I got a three, out of a thirty dollar. Probably sure. not that expensive it's anymore. It's not. It's like close. It was at one. Point. Oh yeah, back when back when you played blue white approach of the second sun, mm -hmm. and you had to search for those cons in your deck so you can you dig to your... As a, yeah, you played it as yeah. like a four of. <laughs> and you just used it to dig to your second approach immediately after casting the... Yep. That was fun. Yeah. I, uh, I played approach with Birds and Vacation. I just won. Oh, yeah. That, that was that well, was a good deck. Well, too. I hoped I would win. I played four approach in the deck. Like, the likelihood of me hitting an approach off of an approach was pretty high. Unless one gets countered or something. They had to counter the second one. But that card is worded? Correct. Yeah. They had to counter the one that's cast from my hand, not the one that's cast off. Well, no. It, like, if they countered the first first approach, and you hit... No. Because it, it, it had a stipulation of it had to be cast from your hand. Oh, yeah. For, for specifically for the Sunbird one. But, like, if if you're just, like... Your opponent just plays approach. You have to let the first right. countering it actually does nothing. Uh, Michael gonna play Crown of Renewal on one. Card oh. seems pretty mediocre in this. Yeah, I mean it draws up a card. Yeah, That's what it is. It becomes a three. Kyle has a much slower hand this time.
Crackling Drake in there too, That's I think. But, let, but like we said earlier, my low deck. Two do nothing artifacts. Turns one. Actual instance and sorceries. Take. Full scrying is up. That. Um. Like you need plans. All in on the rampage of the clans now. I mean, if you like, flips this map over. Cast Rampage of the Clans. He's got a lot of three. Or if he like plays this card and just starts down ticking to make constructs. He doesn't even have to play Rampage at that point. Constructs are just bigger than three. Right. I think he's upkeep right now. Oh. I'm gonna draw. Uh, he probably wants to play this turn. This. That or the. I think he's holding up rest. Try to get you. Okay. I mean, if you're gonna pass the turn, I'm keeping. Upkeep, right? Um, Sit there and wait until combat. You give him next by by letting him move past his draw step. You let but dive down. To the bottom, maybe not. On the make a critical mass of artifacts. I believe that one. He's yeah. also got a Tezzeret stuck in hand. Yeah, I don't think he on board out at least one of the. Them at some point. Who wants to fill out a deck? Okay. Try. Okay. Oh, no, he's, he's gonna, gonna gain a life. Moment of crazy. Now he's got to slam this. Card. He has to put on some pressure. He's gonna pass again. I don't know. He has two very clean. Anything for Caraman. Grasses can. Take. Yeah. Wait till he goes to. Yes. Mm -hmm. But then again, you do have to make sure he has. Has no mana up. He could just. Re but now, fine. Um, I'm going to try to anyway. Get a spell pier. The gate seems like a very strong sideboard card in this matchup. It counters basically everything. Duck. Right. He's to flip know. both treasure maps. He has yeah, to, do, he has yeah. to do one here. And uh, we see a Karn on top. Already got one of those. Try again. That's a land, so he's probably going to leave that on top, even though. It's to play Tezzeret. Yeah. Treasure. I don't have both. Oh, I guess I do. And he grabbed three different. Yeah. Oh, I don't think those are mine. I definitely don't have on his own. Wow. Someone actually brought their own tokens. Although they're not all matched. I don't know, gain him one. What was that swamp from earlier? Six lands now. Gotta decide what to do with these walkers. I mean, realistically, you know. Uh, yeah. The potential of. 
I, I'm a really big fan here. Just playing Karn and try to put crep pressure on with Construct. Yeah, they will be. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Yep. Yeah, so he brought his own. I do not put my own construct, own constructs out. They are too expensive. Yeah. I put the crappy ones from like. I know a lot of people. Yeah, I I, I just provide those. Not putting my zero zero. What else? Yeah, that's right. Constructs like six six right now. Eight eight next. Yeah. If um Michael really wants to keep this carn alive, he can burn two treasures. Drake. Right. I don't know if I like that play. Yeah, I don't know either. Kyle's been a man all game, so it's kind of telegraphing and counterspell for that. Well, so what you could do is flip the other treasure map, because then you'll have six, seven uh, mana open, mm -hmm. uh, and you'd have enough to hold up for a spell pierce. Oh, yeah, so spell pierce isn't really... Looks like he just ignores Karn. Might be underestimating how quick of a clock Karn is. Harbor. Oh. I don't know why, but I looked up really quick because I was. And I was like, I saw, for some reason, my head just thought. Uh, Heart of Kieran? No, yeah. and I'm like, that's not in standard. What's going on? Um, yeah, I had no idea why I thought that. Makes yeah. zero sense, but. He down takes a gun here. Con starts hitting in for nine and piles on it. Thing or die. Yeah. Uh, could be more if you play this Tezzeret too. Ten. Tezzeret would plus and make. Oh okay. yeah. Stud, sure. Move a blocker. That that Arn definitely survives next. Yep. Make another construct. Nine. Uh, one of them. Well, I that mean, says I guess construct that on it. Yeah, I know it's not the real one. <laughs> That's what I use. Yeah. But the uh, only reason I use those is because I actually played metallurgic summonings in Kaladesh Standard. Correct. Nine, right? Yep. Dead in one turn now. Yep. So now he's. Got all of his creatures back on blocking duty. Does he five actually five? have enough to do that? Uh, what? Enough instants and sorceries One, to two, pay three, two mana four, to five, do that? Six. It's six. Oh, wait, no, he paid two for it, right? Yeah. Yeah, so he did. He did six instances. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so he's going to adapt that. Uh, And then he's going to respond. Michael responds. Rusk's attempt? Rusk's attempt on the Enigma Drake. Dead. Correct. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, he realizes uh, have a blocker in the air, uh, I am dead. Even with the blocker. Even without the blocker, wouldn't it? Right. So that was only 5-5 five, five and he had well, 9 life. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was... Uh, that looked much worse for Drake's than we thought. Yeah, no, I thought Drake's was going to be a lot more favored in that matchup because of how fast Drake go, um, but then we saw game one, Brexian creatures would screwed up. It like just he, tore he had him apart completely. Right, he had the fast start that I was like imagining, and if he had that game two, he was probably winning game. Uh, yeah. You know, if he had like the spell to creature ratio. Yeah, it's it's rough when you when you're playing a deck like that where you have a lot of variance in your hands and hands where like all creatures and get paired into a deck that's the kill all the things that you play deck mm -hmm. it feels pretty bad yeah um yeah i definitely thought drake's was favored but uh i guess soul tired effects just good enough there yeah see you guys back for round five